What is going on, everyone? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Forward Thinking Founders. I am very grateful to have your attention, at least for the next 15 minutes of this episode. Forward Thinking Founders is a podcast where I interview pre-seed and seed stage founders about their products, what they want to build into the world, and why. We dive into how they spend their time, what's their vision, what's the origin stories, all these things, so you can learn all about what's coming tomorrow. Because these companies haven't hit critical scale yet. Most of them haven't hit product market fit. These are just early stage companies. And the big question is, what can this be? And in this podcast, we bring that out. So with that, I really hope you enjoy your time listening to today's episode. And I've already done 200 plus. So if you like this one, listen to some of the other ones, like with Imadi Kuhn, Austin Allred, Leah Culver. We have great interviews. So check it out. Enjoy the repository. And for now, let's get into today's episode. Here we go. All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Forward Thinking Founders, where we talk to founders about their companies, their visions for the future, and how the two collide. Today, I'm very excited to be talking to Christina Vanko, who is the founder of Arrow. Welcome to the show. How's it going? Hi, good. How are you? I'm doing really well. Just uh, an, another day on on podcasting, another day kind of at work in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm excited to learn more about what you're working on. Uh, for people that haven't heard of your company, what is Arrow? What are you working on? So Arrow is an audio dating app. So let's get rid of text messaging back and forth. We start with voice because we believe that dating shouldn't start with silence. Um, but yeah, it's a dating app. <laughs> That's awesome. So let's let's walk a little more like like how, like how it works, maybe like user experience. If I was single and I, you know, let's go back four years um, and my current fiance and my and and me like are we found this app like how would we how would this how would this work how would we kind of date on on Arrow? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> yes, of course. So basically, download the app. Of course, let's let's start from the very beginning. Um, download the app, and instead of swiping, we're offering a Discover page just because there's so many people that you just glaze over when you swipe. So let, we're kind of giving a discover page so you could kind of tap in to people's profiles, kind of learn to get to know them. And then if you like what you see, let's give them the actual chance to send a voice message, kind of recreating that IRL experience that if you like someone, you could say, hey, um, and give them that chance to actually send that voice message forward. Um, we'll give a few different prompts so you don't have to start with like a, hey, what's up? So you could kind of start off from like a good note and you hit send. And then on the other end, you receive that voice note and a little bit of a limited profile. Decide if you like it or not and then accept. And then the fun thing about it is, is we gamify it a little bit just because we don't want you to kind of dive too deep while you are trying to match with people. And then we, once you match, get a little bit more of a robust profile. So the general idea here is you could shoot your shot to anybody. You could actually let your voice be heard and no matching is required. I think it's super smart. I think there's a lot of like uh, high level, just like behavioral things that make this like a much better uh, kind of UX. But like, how did you like even come across this? I mean, I, I guess, I guess let's go to the beginning. Tell me about the origin story of Arrow. How did you get this started with this concept? Totally. Well, first of all, I'm a huge voice note user. I love to tell stories. I And the best way stories are told is if they are spoken. If you text me, I might send you a paragraph, but it just doesn't give you the same intonation, the same inflection, the same feeling. So I always have used voice notes from the very beginning. I've always figured out weird ways to kind of use text messages whether it be writing my text messages in calligraphy from like a long, long time ago, or once voice notes came out, I was like, hey, this is cool. This is more like me. I'm extroverted. I talk. I love to tell stories. This makes sense. But on the other end of things, I have been dating for a while, and I notice that the representation of me that you get in person, in real life, over the phone, over FaceTime, does not correlate well with what you see via text. And it gets boring. Like text messages fall flat, like you don't get the same experience. And so I figured, why don't we create a better experience and basically the experience we all deserve when we're trying to get to know somebody. And at the same time too, like there are so many different connections that 
you make even in real life just by going up and saying like hey to somebody versus you know like waiting to match on an app so why not give a little bit more at the very start and give a little bit more of a chance for that connection yeah i, th I think it's great um and I, I like how you finished it it's like it's almost like in life you have to take a little bit of a leap like a little uh, like a little more of a leap or like an action and a lot of apps, there's like nothing. It's just very low friction. There's like power through, and this kind of introduces that a little bit, which which is cool. I'm curious. So you are a very this is a very early stage company, which means you're spending time on lots of different lots of different things. I'm curious, what is your average day spent on when you work on Arrow? Like, what are some activities that you spend time on? What are you focusing on? Like, and how do you think about just like where you spend your time? Yeah, well, it's weird because I feel like part of it is dating and like just talking to people even when you're like meeting strand, random strangers and like asking those people, like even when I go out with friends, like I try to kind of figure a way to like bring it up to random strangers just to see who is using apps and how they're using it. Because I mean, my community is my community and I know they're all really great people, but I need to meet strangers. And so we've been doing a lot of research lately um interviewing tons of different people whether it be like formally um and recording or just meeting them in real life um in order to kind of inform all of the features that we want to have in the mvp and we're having a lot of those features discussions right now and a lot of the conversations we are having are really validating a lot of the thoughts that we initially had which is like super interesting and really exciting because what like our vision is is pretty pretty on point actually um so yeah we're having those discussions and kind of building wireframes and in the background i'm always kind of like figuring out ways to like talk to different people and um figuring out like ooh, the design because i'm also a designer at heart and i mean you just alluded to the vision a little bit so i will i, I will ask what what is the the big vision here i mean if you were to zoom out five, 10, 15 years into the future, what does Arrow look like? I mean, I would love for it to be one of the giants along with your Bumble, Tinder, Hinge. I think there's space for it because those are all text messaging based apps. They all have that little key phrase about them. Tinder now is your hookup app. Bumble, women, it's a lot of work for women. Um, Hinge designed to be deleted, but a lot of people just don't chat on it. And so I would love for Arrow to be like, the voice messaging app because you have to create a new culture surrounding it. All these apps are coming out with features that include voice. And I want Arrow to be the one at the forefront being the voice app. And in order to kind of get in there and be be with the big players, you'll need some help, right? I mean, it takes a village to, to make a startup work. So my question for you is how can the forward thinking founders community help? Are you hiring? Are you raising money? Are you looking for users? You know, how can we assist? We're, I mean, we want everybody to use audio first and foremost. Um, but other than that, um, we're probably going to be raising soon. Um, we're trying to bootstrap the MVP right now um, before getting out there and raising. But yeah, we will be we will be looking for that. And for my last question, if someone wanted to learn more, find you on the internet, download the app, or just kind of check it all out, where can they find you online? Totally. My, well, my Twitter handle is Christina Vanko, and that's C R I S T I N A. Everybody spells my name wrong. Uh, and well, I guess I should spell the whole thing out. Christina Vanko, C R I S T I N A V A N K O. Um, and at the same time, um, our website's datewitharrow.com. And I'm also on Instagram um, with basically, I'm Christina Vanko across the board. And I have a question that I sometimes ask when I know someone from Twitter. I'm curious. So like you just shared your Twitter. There's a lot of people listening that are on Twitter. I'm sure there's a lot of people that have no idea why Twitter is interesting at all. What, why are like, why are you on Twitter? Like what's going on in Twitter right now? That's like, I think Im important for like just founders and startup people to kind of like be, be on. What's your opinion there? Yeah. I mean, I feel like my Twitter is a really great representation of who I am. Like, I started tweeting about dating probably a year or two years ago. And like, it really is ingrained in who I am and like wanting to make it better. So you're gonna find silly interactions, weird stories, and what it's like to actually be out there. 
in addition to trying to make the dating space a little bit better for people. Um, Cause that's my goal. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Twitter has been, I don't know if it's always been this good. I mean, I just only got into it in the last like two years or so, or if it just has gotten better for whatever reason, but Twitter is, well, okay. What more, this isn't a Twitter, but I'll ask that that we'll finish it. Do you think that Twitter has like gotten better in the last two years or has it always been this good? It's just not as many people have been on. Oh, totally. I think a lot of people kind of get more comfortable with the way that they share. Like I remember at the beginning of my Twitter journey 10 years ago, my like, first tweet was like, what is this? And then I would share links and kind of use it as more of a platform for like sharing things about design and not really like butting into conversations and kind of conversating back and forth with really interesting people. So I think it's been, it's been a lot better the past couple of years, not only because of comfort, it's people are finding ways to relate to others in different ways. And that I think as a whole, pandemic aside, is just so comforting for people to know like, oh, this problem exists, it's out there. And the cool thing about being on founder Twitter is people are trying to solve those problems. So I, I'm a big Twitter stan. <laughs> Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Make sure to follow Christine on Twitter. All right, cool. Thank you so much for coming on to the podcast. I really appreciate it. And best of luck building out Arrow. Thanks for coming on. Thanks.